Hi, my name is John, and I'm going to show you how to shave your head. Um, whenever I'm working on the face, I like to make sure I clean up everything else. So I'm going to start with uh, my eyebrow piercing and my lip. So obviously, if you're going to be shaving around here, then give it a little piercing. Okay. So I'm going to start by cleaning out my eyebrow piercing. Which is not really part of what I'm doing, but it's good to have it clean anyway. And I'm going to use this this shaver here to get around the neck area. of hairs on my neck, which is a pain in the ass. So go like this, get it all out. Okay, once you got your neck shaved, obviously you're just going to go over with this. Get the cheeks area. is shaver here to get the hair down as low as you can. You're going to need a razor. Now you could use either a razor like this. This is my mom's. I don't use it, but this is uh, whatever this is. You can either use a razor like this or what I like to use is the head blade. It looks a little bit like a snowmobile, kind of like that. And um, basically what you do is you slip it on your fingers like this. Like that, and all the pressure pretty much does its work, you know. Anyways, um, let's start by shaving the head. Just shave it all off. Once you're done shaving your head, you should have hairs all over your face and stuff like this. I'm a big mess now. But once you have it shaved down low enough, then you can bring in the razor and it won't clog up the razor as much. So right now I'm just filling up some water here. Fill some hot water into a bowl, something like that, you know. That way, whenever you do a little swipe, you dip it inside the water and it removes the loose hair. Just makes sense. Okay, so my water is full. My water is full, and the best thing to do when you're going to shave your head or whatever is take a shower. So as soon as you come out of the shower, your pores are open or whatever you like to call them. The hair follicles, I don't know what they're called to be honest, but take a shower. Your head is nice and warm, and you're ready to go. Me today, I'm not going to do it because I decided I quit showering. I'm never going to shower ever again. That's a lie. I'm just going to wet my hair right here. So if you don't like hot water, then go we'll take a shower. And I don't mean lukewarm, I mean hot or warm. Warm water. Very warm. So I'm just gonna put some hot water here onto my hair. Okay, so now my head's all wet. And who doesn't like a wet head? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Alright, so my head's wet. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be using the head blade, so when I went to the store to get the head blade, by the way, that's this thing here, and it works really well. Um, they also have shaving cream that you can buy there and uh, matte lube makes your head look matte which is pretty cool um, but yeah you can go to Shopper's Drug Mart pick this up for about 12 bucks, 12 to 15 bucks which is not bad and you can get the head slick which is the shaving cream and it works really well I don't know how much this costs but you can go to Shopper's Drug Mart and find that alright so you got your blade you wet it So we'll put some shaving cream on, just like this. Just a little drop, like that. You don't need much. You put it around your hands, you go like this, like this. Then you rub it around your head. Make sure you get it in there. Kind of like shampooing a little bit. Or conditioning if you do that. Right. I should have put more on, but whatever. 
Now we begin. So, I'm going to try to do it so you can see here. So you just, you're supposed to hold it like this, but I find it awkward and I'm not too sure exactly how to do it. So, because I like to go up this way, but usually you're supposed to go like that, or the other way around, like that. But I'm going to do it upwards. So, go like this. Works quite well. Move this a bit. And fold the ear over to get in there. I hope I don't cut myself. Okay, now this side. Now, every time you do a swipe, make sure you dip it in the water because you don't want the hair to build up. Working pretty well so far. Doom, doom. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get into the back part, you can't see the back. So what you do is you just use your hands. It's pretty smooth over here already, but. As you're shaving along, use your hands to feel around. Yeah. So go like that. Okay. It runs pretty smooth. It's, it's actually a really good product. The only problem is that blades cost so much, so... Okay. The best part about the head blade is that it moves really quick, so... Literally. Go that fast. It's really effortless. Done, just get a rag and wash your heads. And wash all that gunk off. Okay, when you're done. When you're done, just wash your head, whip it off, you should have something like that. Now, I did cut myself a couple times, I can see, but it's going to happen, I'm new to it, so I hope this video helped a little bit, who knows? Greg! Greg! Yeah. Can you preheat the oven to 425 for me? 425, preheat it for me. Thanks. And when you're done and you're feeling fine, usually what I like to do is a little bit of air gun, you know, a little bit of machine gun like this. Or dual machine gun. Or, of course, everyone's favorite, the shotgun. And that's that. So, I hope my video helped you out. And if you have any tips for me too, that'd be greatly appreciated because I am still new to this. Why?